Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Today we will be talking about installation, download and also installation of one of the major software in statistical analysis and that is SAS University Edition. Why do you need this? Because every research needs some software to do the data analysis. Once you collect your data, you have to do data analysis. And now there are many options out there. And the question is which one to use is sometimes personal, sometimes it's not really personal because major journals, when you need to publish your work, will require a specific type of software. And SAS is one of the common ones in the field of sciences. Others like R, SPSS, and smaller packages are out there, but each one is different from each other. Each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. For the largest or for the longest time, SAS has dominated the market and still is. The good thing, there's a free version for university researchers and students. So why don't we explore it and use it? And then we'll learn more about it. In this video, I'm going to talk about downloading the software installing it in your system which is going to be windows 10 and then how to run it and then in future videos we'll deal with the analysis part so stick around let's do it so to download sas university edition you need to go to the website which i'm going to link it in the description uh, but this is where it is it is in sas um, website yeah it says university edition and here it says pay nothing again and everything and it because it's free so once you get here you just go and get the software so let's download it now to download sas is not that easy you need a virtual machine to be able to download it but you can use it on windows mac and linux so it's available in all those options now something you have to know sas would be installed in windows 7 and above and now today I'll install it on Windows 10. It will have to have a minimum of one gigabit of RAM, as well as you will need large space, which I would say at least three gigabytes of your hard drive. Plus you need an internet uh, capacity or data to be able to download it. So first thing first, the steps are like this. You need a virtualization software to be able to run it offline from your computer you need a virtual box machine or any other virtual machine <clears throat> we'll be using virtual box here and remember this is a virtual machine so it can, it can host many other uh, software or uh, operating systems for example mac or even android uh, on this uh, virtual box so it is useful not only for SaaS for other software but it takes a bit of your space and memory as well once you do that, when you set up your virtual machine, second step is to download the software itself. And here you will need your email, personal or university is better. And then you configure your virtual machine to run SAS. And finally, you start SAS. So these are the four steps that you need. Virtual machine, downloading SAS, installing it, and then you configure it. And then you start using it. So, the first step is installing the virtual machine. Actually, SAS gives you a very good idea on what to do, but it's not that complicated. You just go ahead here and download the virtual machine for your system, whatever system you are using. I'll be using Windows system. So I'm going to download the virtual machine for Windows system, which is going to be here. Once we do that, we download the software or the virtual machine virtual box to your system to the hard drive and then you run it from there the size here is about 100 megabytes so we'll wait for it to download and then we will run it now that virtual machine is downloaded or virtual box is downloaded now it's time to install it as you can see the installation process is very straightforward and 
you can keep all the options by default and then you go ahead and install it okay now installation has been completed so this part is basically done now you need to create two folders where you're going to store your data for analysis that folder wherever you want to to leave it it's better to have it in the main drive so i did uh, create in the d drive let me start a new window here so you can see here that I created in the D drive that's where I want to store my data I always try to avoid having the drive in the C drive so you can see here SAS University Edition just like instructed with no spaces on your local computer on a location on your drive and then the next will be subfolder inside of that it's called my folders so you really have to have this as university edition folder and then my folder inside of it these two folders are very important to have and then you'll have one inside the other as you can see here so such university edition and then inside of that you have my folders that needs to be done so that is step one now we are done with step one Step two will be to download the SAS itself, the University Edition um, software. So now what you need to do is you, on the same web page, the same page, you just go SAS University Edition. As I mentioned before, you need an email and then they will email you the link to download the software as you can see here. Okay. If you already have a profile on SAS, you can sign in actually login and then you can use uh, that otherwise just provide your email and then they will send you the link once you do that you go you should get an email from SAS store and this is what it says that you have an order you have a confirmation you have order number and then you will have of course no charges on your order because you are running the free university edition but you will have the download link here so once you click that it takes you directly to the download page so you take you back to this login page you log in with your username and password and it will direct you straight away to the download page as you can see here you can download this has software right away but remember this download is huge it is 2.3 gigabyte so it's going to take a bit of time and also a lot of your data if you have a data limitation you need to be aware of that once you install or download your SAS university edition you go back to the virtual machine you open file and say import appliance and then locate your downloaded says and it should be here looking like ova extension file and that's it that's where you open it and you just click open it will open and then you do next and then it gives you all uh, the description you don't need to do anything you just click import and then you are done Once you have SAS University Edition imported into your system, into the VM virtual box, now you continue the settings. You select SAS University Edition, then you go to Machine Settings, and here you decide where your shared folder is, which drive, like in my case, in D, but it could be anywhere, and then you tell the vm box or virtual box where the folders are the basically this is where all your analysis um, 
logs and data sets are going to be stored. So this is the path. You can also do select it from here. This is my folder. So you go to the folder and you say select folder. And here is the name, my folders, you keep the same. And then make sure bed only is not selected and auto mount is selected. So this is selected, this is not selected. A lot of the problems come from red only being selected. So unselect that, select auto mount and click OK. That's all you need to do. And then OK again. So that part is done. And then your setting window is ready. Now we go to step four, which is following this step on the same SAS download page. You go to run and test the software. Basically what you do, you select the machine and start. So you go back to your virtual machine and you say start. This will start the SAS University edition. And then you wait for this terminal window to do its work. This is going to take a few seconds, maybe. It doesn't take too long, but it takes quite a bit sometimes if the system is slow or the memory is not too big in your system. Once this is done, you go to the next step. It will instruct you what to do. And then you do this every time you run SAS. From now on, this is these are the steps, basically. you you run Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box first. Then you go to SAS University Edition and run it. This one here, and you, you run it. And once you run it from here, you wait for the terminal to start. You should end up with this window. Now you cannot close this window. You cannot close this window and all you have to do is just minimize it and as it says there as instructed you need to log in to any browser with http localhost 10080 we have this here in the website and you do this once actually and that's it you, you copy this and then you start sas so that's what you need to do. It's already there. Just run it. And you can see. You can you do this every time. And then start SAS. Once you start SAS, you are in. You are ready. And then your data analysis can be either copy and pasted from a program you created for your data set. Or you can use anything that you like. Like here. I have now. It's always good to comment your files as you go. So we'll get to this on another video. But for now, this is how you install it from A to Z. You find here, once you start, you have the code, you have the logs, you have the results when you run it. And this is basically the interface of SAS. Okay, so you don't need to sign out anymore. That you just stay where you are. You just continue what you're doing. You can close these windows once you are done. Okay, you, you don't need it, you just close it. But nothing will be closed until you actually close the window here. It will ask you when you close this window, you see that it will ask you to power off the machine and you click yes. And that's it. Now it is technically closed. So now you can exit the software. That's basically it. That's how you. Now that's overview of how to download and install SAS. Next time we'll run the same thing, but please practice on installing and running SAS more than once. Try to get a good idea on how to use it. And then in the future, inshallah, we'll be downloading or creating more videos on doing some of the analysis in SAS. Until that time, take care and good luck. Bye-bye.